Hi, I'm Jack. And as you can see, we're here in the Philip Lot Extrusion Lab. I'm going to walk you through all the steps involved with uh, cleaning your extruder once you've finished your extrusion. You're going to want to start by uh, removing the uh, nozzle from the uh, screw, or from the extruder. You can do that with a socket wrench. Once you've done that, you're going to want to fill the hopper up with about a cup of purge. And you're just going to begin extruding until you have uh, pushed all that purge out of the machine. Throughout all this process, it's important to keep your machine hot. Uh, once you've finished pushing the purge out of the barrel, it's time to remove the screw. To do this, we're going to use a glove and a screwdriver. You want to start by removing the hopper from the extruder. And you're going to take the screwdriver and put it into the feed. It's important that you've turned your machine off at this point. You do not want the screw spinning. And you're just going to kind of wet it in there and push the screw out as far as you can. Once you've done that, you're going to dot the glove. And grip the screw and pull it out the rest of the way. Support once you've done this, you head over to the vise and start cleaning the screw as quickly as you can. So, once we've put the screw in the vise, um, it's time to start cleaning it. It's important to know that this vise we've carved out a notch so that the screw can be seated in the vise in a safe manner that's not going to fall out. But uh, we're going to use this uh, wire brush and put it in a drill to uh, remove any excess curves that's still on the screw. We also have here our Fumex machine to make sure that we're removing any uh, noxious fumes that you don't want to be inhaling. So to clean the screw, it's pretty much just going up to the screw and running your drill. Need a new battery. Um, as I mentioned before, though, it's important to do this as quickly as you can because the screw, well, from the removal of the extruder over to here, because if the screw cools down, it's going to become uh, more difficult to uh, to clean it. So there's kind of two different ways that you can heat the screw back up. You can either use a torch, or you can reinsert the screw into the barrel. Um, before reinserting the screw into the barrel though, you'd want to make sure you clean the barrel. And we'll show you how to do that next. So when cleaning the screw, it's possible that you're not going to be able to uh, fully remove all the uh, material from the flights. Uh, just with the uh, brush here. So that's when you can use the copper gauze. And you're just going to kind of get in there and wrap it around. And just run it back and forth until it gets clean. Um, this is again where the uh, the torch can come in handy if you have a spot that you just need to hit with the torch for a minute. And then you can get right back in there. And uh, clean it up. And it's important to remove anything on the screw before you have concluded screw cleaning because a dirty screw is not going to yield a very uh, consistent extrusion when you go to use it again. So when it comes to cleaning the barrel, uh, I just want to remind you that the machine is going to remain hot throughout all this process. We also have our Fumex set up over here for the same reasons as before. We don't want to be inhaling any fumes that may be released during this process. So the tools you're going to need for cleaning the barrel are the uh, bristle rod and the copper gauze. You're going to take about three to four inches of gauze and cut it off. wrap that around the bristle rod. And 
And then you're going to uh, insert the rod into the, uh, the barrel. And let me go. And I'm just going to kind of push it in and out, twist it around, trying to uh, get contact with as much of the interior of the barrel as you can. And then you're going to want to take a vacuum and uh, insert it into the feed. And that's just to clean up any particles that didn't really get picked up by the uh, by the brass gauze or by the copper gauze. Um, so yeah, that, that's how you clean your barrel. So when it comes to cleaning your nozzle, I also like to do that immediately after removing it from the extruder, but that's not always the case. So when that happens, you'll just want to heat up the torch for a moment. And then you can kind of just dig at it with a pair of pliers and remove uh, as much as you can. Um, it's kind of hard to find the happy medium of uh, how melted it is. That one came out pretty well just because it was at a nice temp that it all stuck together still. Um, it's pretty hard to get your nozzle completely clean, but as long as you remove as much as you can, um, you can expect it to come out um, at the start of the next extrusion. Uh, and that's how you clean your nozzle. So to clean the uh, barrel, you're going to need copper gauze and this uh, bristle rod. What you're going to do is take a little bit of the gauze, about three to four inches worth, and wrap it around our bristle rod. Again, I just want to mention the machine is still hot throughout all this process. We also have our fume mat set up over here again. For the same reasons before, we don't want to be inhaling any fumes that may be released. So after you've wrapped your uh, your copper gauze around the bristled rod, you insert it into the screw. 